meet the life car. It does 0 to 60 in 7 seconds, has an estimated range of 250 miles and is even environmentally friendly. It's a hydrogen fuel cell car, so it runs on hydrogen gas, uh, which uh, goes into a fuel cell, which creates electricity, that then runs four motors and um, drives the car along. Uh, and we're actually putting all the different uh, parts together and basically we're doing the platform of the car. Uh, and the good thing about the car is it's a zero emission car. This is very different from your traditional production process. Why have you decided to go down this road? You know, with the price of oil these days and it's just rising and rising and rising, hydrogen, we, we think, is a way forward um, um, for this sort of car. The company has been making classic sports cars for customers in this country and abroad for decades. It's been developing the life car for two years and the designers are proud of its aerodynamic, sleek finish. So this is just describing a process. We go from a sketch to a clay model and then from a clay model we move to a CAD model. And then from that CAD data we were able to actually hand beat the aluminium panels over a wooden buck. So here we've got a laminated ply seat which is to keep the interior lightweight. Um, we've then got the chassis, four electric motors and then four hydrogen fuel cells which are in the front of the car. The car was recently showcased at the Geneva Motor Show where it received rave reviews and attracted attention from industry experts. I think there was probably only two other fuel cell cars there but uh, I think I stood out because of uh, it being a sports car and not just a mundane, slow, uh, normal fuel cell car. The vehicle is the result of a £1.9 million project. It weighs just 700 kilograms. Aluminium, wood and leather have been used to make it one of the lightest cars around. To keep the weight down inside the car, we've literally got the laminated seats with leather pads put on the laminated ply, um, which is a lot lighter than sticking a normal car seat in. We then have a laminated ply framework, which actually holds the body in position. Um, it's an aluminium body, so we're exposing the real qualities of Morgan. Do you think the motorsports industry will take this seriously? I think they'll have to. Um, you know, it's the, the days of running around with a great big V8 pushing out ridiculous emis emissions into the world are numbered, unfortunately. Um, but we believe with something like this, being lightweight, it can also be a, a lot of fun. Well, this certainly looks like a sports car, and the company assures me it's capable of behaving like one too. The charge is sent to the capacitors and then the power is basically boosted out to all four electric motors. This means the car should accelerate from 0 to 60 in around 7 seconds and um, it should go to about 100 miles an hour as well. One of the sticking points of hydrogen fuel cell cars is that there's nowhere to fill them up. What can you do about this? One of the, the, the group of companies is Lindy Gas. They're supplying the hydrogen and they've made a bespoke small portable refuelling um, rig that basically if you have this car you can have this rig at your house and you can fill up and, uh, and drive away so we have actually thought about that so uh, it's available with the car. Who will buy a car like the life car and how much will it go for? I guess you've got to be you're gonna to have to be quite wealthy to buy the car but it's people who are interested in yeah, green environmental issues. We've already been approached by certain people already. Are you quite confident that the orders will start flooding in? I, th I think they will. I think, I think everyone's going to be really surprised. Um, the more closer I get to finish in the car, I can just see us, you know, in five years' time, maybe even less building these cars. So the motorists of the future can look forward to driving a car that's fun, stylish and kind to the environment.